Another great question. What would I do if dog ended up trying to jump over a fence or a gate? And I actually haven't thought about this one, so I'm actually doing this one right on the fly. So I'm literally contemplating what I would do right this second. So I'm thinking analytically. So, and situationally, if it was in the right circumstances, if a dog jumped over a gate or a fence, I'll give it a fucking treat, okay? Uh, and I say that because even with Ava at training, when she's jumping over tires and wheelbarrows and shit, and um, now I forget what else they have out there. Doesn't matter. I literally reward that behavior because that's what I want her to do. I want her not to be afraid of that stuff in those particular instances. If it was my backyard like this, that's another issue. That one I would actually keep the dog on a leash at a time. And depending where it is, I have it on long line. So this way the dog will have plenty of freedom. And then as it started to try that behavior, I would just pop them on the leash and correct it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use a e-collar at that one. Like I wouldn't stay here in the porch and just wait for the dog to try and jump the fence or gate and then shock with the e-collar. That's the extreme. Small percentage of people might do that. I wouldn't, I'd rather just keep the deterrent as a strong verbal or with the leash because I don't ever want them to just think outside and your home is gonna have those type of deterrents. That one I'd rather just come straight from me. Um, shouldn't really happen again if you're doing training outside in your backyard and it's not like say in an actual course, that behavior shouldn't happen because if you're doing that type of training at a particular location, they should know that environment, it's okay for certain actions. This particular field, this particular environment, no okay so again that's kind of why you have dogs who have different behaviors in different um, environments so if that happened here in your backyard now just put a long line on it if it happens this way the dog gets popped on the leash it does its own command and it realizes oh shit, that's a no-no and if there is any other kind of obedience that you're doing that is not one of them if you are training for that particular behavior do it somewhere else Again, this way they're not skewing their training as saying, okay, this is okay, this is okay. You gotta really dial that in so when they actually do that command, it's based on a, when they do that particular action, it's based on that command because you want it to happen. Not because they chose for it to happen. Not because they just chose to do it because I wanted to do it. That's when the trouble happens and that's where a correction is needed. When they start making their own decisions like that. But if you call for that command, totally different, fair game, reward that shit. So yeah, just be careful when you're doing it. And that's it. Talk to you next time. Done.